For this project, first start by writing your name on the back and then flipping your paper over. We are going to create a glue watercolor resist. Glue and watercolor do not mix together, so first we're going to draw a picture using glue. You may draw whatever sort of picture you would like or you can just create designs. I'm going to create a landscape with my glue. It's important that you use enough glue so that when it dries, you can still see the glue, but you also don't want so much glue to where it takes days to dry. So as you are putting the glue down, if you notice that there's like little bubbles or maybe your line isn't connected, you can always go on top and add a little more glue. So I kind of think of this like I am drawing with my glue bottle. So with my glue, I am going to create lines and those lines will create patterns. I'm choosing to make each little section of my landscape different just for some variety. And since I'm thinking that I'm drawing with the glue, I am not squeezing hard. I put the tip on the paper and then I gently press so that a little bit of glue comes out. You can always add more, but it's hard to take away the glue. When you finish, we need to put this in the drying rack. So gently pick up the paper like I am hold it with two strong hands and go lay it in the drying rack. All right, the next day when you look, it will dry. Look at all that. So you can still see the glue lines, but they are dried. What we're going to do next is we're going to get our paintbrush and we are going to paint. Now, if you have little sections, you probably need a skinnier brush like this. So if you need one, just ask Miss H and I will help you get one. All right, now here's the fun part. Let's start painting. So because the paint has like divided your paper into sections or shapes, I'm going to color each of those a different color. Now it is up to you what colors to choose, but I want to create a pattern. A pattern is something that repeats over and over. So in this first section, I'm going to do dark green and then light green. And then the next section will be dark green and then light green. I'm gonna fast forward so that you can see what it looks like. So when I am painting, I'm trying to stay in the line. The glue you used created lines. So then I'm just painting on the inside. That means there will be some white space and that is where the glue is. All right, and then you can see how I'm doing every other section one color so that I create a little pattern. Okay, now on the third day, we're going to use a really thin Sharpie to outline where the glue is and where it has dried because this has created some sections or divisions in our painting. So with a thin Sharpie, I'm just going to outline the outside of the glue. It takes a while and I went really slow. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit so you can see as I'm working how to do this. So I'm outlining the glue, see that? And then I'm going to outline the other side. And then I just continue until I've finished. It does take a while, so definitely take your time of course, if you want to do this in a different style, you're welcome to. This is just one way you could do this. After a while, I am finished. The black lines just really make the different sections stand out. I think that makes the colors look bright. And there you go. That's our final product.